In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to pro proclaim the power of the risen Lord, that we who have received the pledge of his gift may come to possess all he gives when it is fully revealed through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. Thus Joseph, also named by the apostles Barnabas, which translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cypriot by birth, sold a piece of property that he owned, then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king in splendor robed. Robed is the Lord and girt about with strength. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. And he has made the world firm not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old, from everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord is king, he is robed. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 The Son of Man must be lifted up so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. <laughs> Jesus said to Nicodemus, You must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes. But you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? Jesus answered and said to him, You are the teacher of Israel, and you do not, you do not understand this? Amen, amen, I say to you. We speak of what we know and we tes testify to what we have seen. But you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? 
No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. In our Gospel today, one of the lines that Jesus says is, If I tell you about earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? And for us, what we can get from this, this statement from Jesus, this line from Jesus, is that we're all Christians. And a lot of times, we claim that and we, we say we believe in God because we do. And we say that, you know, we have this, we, we claim this heavenly connection to God. And that is true. As Christians, we do. But in our daily lives, or in our earthly lives, our actions can be completely different from, from what we claim our heavenly connection. We can be, we can have moments where we are unloving, unkind, just unchristlike. The thing is, we have to connect the two. We are, ch churches can not be the only place that we are Christian, but just throughout our whole lives. Of course, the height of that worship comes at Mass because of the Eucharist. But at the same time, all of it starts from when we are just in our daily lives. That is when we can prove that we are the most Christian. That is when... That is the place we can prove most that we are followers of Jesus Christ. Not at church, but out there in our regular lives, whatever that, whatever that looks like. That is where we can show our Christian witness. And that is when we can show that we are truly followers of Jesus Christ. And so we have to handle ourselves as Christians in earthly things, to show that we are also connected or that we are Christians or we are followers of Jesus um, spiritually and heavenly things as well. And so when Jesus says, if I tell you about earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? He's letting us know that they're both connected. It's not two separate things. That it's how we handle ourselves in earthly things in, or on earth in this world is directly connected with how we are in spiritual things and heavenly things. And so we take, and today we, so today we reflect on that. We reflect on what Christ means by this line of how he's calling us to make sure that our heavenly connection to him, to God, also shows in our daily lives, in our earthly um, dealings in this world. And so today we really reflect on that. And we really ask the Lord to help us to be true Christian witnesses, not just in things that, like church or official prayer, but how to be Christians in our regular lives, in our regular earthly lives. Please remain seated. Today's Mass is being offered for the repose of the souls of Mladen Buntic, Sue Marin, and Pietro Davi.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness to have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, <clears throat> will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, with all such sacrifice at your hand, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all, his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that, renewed, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to lodge you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom of God. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, they, they should engender me. For those joining us um, through the Mass online, we will now be making an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Just a reminder for those um, present here, uh, physically at the Mass, that communion will be distributed at the end of Mass um, instead of right now at the usual time. So I ask that you all please be seated.
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just an announcement for those um, joining us online through the Mass, that in-person Masses here right now um, have started. Um, we have people here right now at Mass. Um, so if you're interested in coming physically to the daily Mass, then that is now an option. It's the same time, 7.30, um, and the Masses will continue to also be live streamed. Thank you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.